Hi makers, it's Sierra with Sierra's Crafty Creations and today in this tutorial we'll be crocheting this really fun three colored bobble stitch blanket. These are going to be front post bobble stitches to create this really fun texture. This is a very easy blanket. Don't let the three colors scare you away or these fun little stitches scare, scare you away. I'm going to show you how to do every step so let's go ahead and get started with the materials that you're going to need to create your very own three colored bobble blanket. And for those of you who are curious, this is what the back of the blanket looks like, and this is the front. So we will have a right side and a wrong side, but they both look pretty cool if I'm being honest. So for materials, you're going to need a 6mm J crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors, and then for yarn, you're going to need any size for worsted weight yarn. I'm using Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. You can absolutely do this blanket in one, two, or three colors. I mean, you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. I'm going to be using three. I'm going to be using this tweed, this burnt pumpkin, and sun gold, all in the same Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. You can use any size four yarn that you'd like and as many colors as you'd like. So let's go ahead and get started into the pattern. You're going to want to grab your first color and your crochet hook, and we're going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to chain to start our first row and I'm going to insert a graphic so you can see how many chains that you need to create for different size blankets in today's tutorial I'm just going to be doing a quick sample just to show you how to do the stitches and the row repeat so refer to this graphic here for how many chains that you need to create to create a baby throw queen or king size blanket so to create that chain amount you're gonna grab your Yarn over your hook, pull through the slip knot, that creates a chain. Yarn over, pull through, chain two. So you're gonna keep doing that until you have the correct amount for the size blanket that you would like to make. And once you reach that amount, we are going to start with row one. And to start, we are going to place a single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So here's our first chain. So you're gonna take your hook, insert into the second chain, grab your yarn, pull through that stitch. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over pull through both and that is a single crochet and we're going to do that in each chain across so insert into the next chain grab your yarn pull through yarn over pull through both loops so go ahead and create a single crochet in each chain across all right and for row two we are going to chain three and our chain threes are going to count as a stitch but our chain ones are not so chain three grab your yarn pull through the loop there's one two and three then we're going to turn our work and for this row, we're going to place a double crochet in each stitch across. So because the chain three counts as our first stitch, we're going to go into the second space here. And to create a double crochet, you're going to yarn over your hook, insert into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And that creates a double crochet. And you're going to do that in each stitch across, creating a double crochet, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, Grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So go ahead and create a double crochet in each stitch across. All right, and if you are changing colors like I am, you're going to want to change colors on your very last stitch. So yarn over, insert into that very last stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two, and this is where you're going to want to grab your second color. I'm going to be using my burnt orange. I'm just going to create a loop like this attach that to the end of my crochet hook and pull through the last two loops on my very last stitch of row, of row two. That way I can seamlessly attach my new color and I'm ready for the next row. So for row three, we are going to grab our new color, yarn over our hook to create a chain one and turn our work. And you can cut off your first color or leave it attached and and carry your yarn up. It's totally up to you. Um, for this particular pattern, I like to just cut off my yarn. Um, so there will be several ends for me to weave in, but I just think it makes the edges look a little bit cleaner rather than on the back side of your work, um, some yarn getting carried for a blanket. So totally up to you. You can do either option. But for row three, we are going to create a, this is where we're going to start our front post bobble stitches. 
So it's gonna be a mix between single crochets and front post bobble stitches. So to start, we're gonna create five single crochets. So we're gonna put a single crochet in the first five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we have five single crochets and then on the sixth stitch, we're gonna do our first front post bobble stitch. And to do that, we are actually going to yarn over our hook, insert our hook behind this double crochet post from row two. So this is the placement of your hook going behind that post. We're gonna grab our orange yarn, pull it behind that post like so. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over both of the first two loops. Then you're gonna yarn over your hook Go behind that post again, grab your yarn, pull it behind that post. You'll have four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now you have three loops on your hook. We're gonna do that again, yarn over, go behind that same post, grab your yarn, pull it behind. You have one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you have four loops on your hook and we're gonna do that one last time. So yarn over, go behind that post, Grab your yarn, pull it behind the post, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And now you have one, two, three, four, five loops still on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through all five of those loops. And that is how you create a front post bobble stitch. Now what we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we skip one stitch for our post there. So we're gonna wanna skip this stitch and then insert our hook into the very next stitch and create a single crochet. So again, you can flip it to the back to make sure that you skip that one stitch and you're gonna have five single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And the next stitch is gonna be a front post bobble stitch. So let's do that again on camera. Yarn over your hook, go to the double crochet from the previous row going behind the post there Grab your yarn, pull behind the post, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, going behind the post, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, going behind the post, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Last time, yarn over, going behind the post, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through all five loops. All right. Skip one stitch there and five single crochets in the next. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so again, I'm just making a very small sample. So those are my two front post bobble stitches. Now we're gonna move on to row four and we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and that is going to count as our first double crochet turn our work. Now we're looking at the back side of our, our blanket here. We're gonna yarn over, insert into that second stitch, create a double crochet, and place a double crochet in each stitch across. And when you come up to your bobble stitch, you'll see that the top of it has a normal stitch. So you'll just go right there in top of that stitch, creating a double crochet in each stitch across. And again, if you are using two or three colors or how many of our colors, you're gonna wanna change colors after every two rows. So you're gonna wanna change your colors after each double crochet row. So make sure on your last double crochet stitch that you're not completing your stitch all the way yet so that you can attach your new color. So yarn over, insert into that last stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, you're gonna pull through the first two and leave those two loops still on your hook. And now you're gonna wanna grab your third color or switch back to your first color, however you're deciding to do that. My third color is going to be sun gold. Again, just make a loop, attach it onto your hook, pull through those last two loops to finish that stitch on the last row, and then we are going to chain one and turn. All right, so for row five, it's gonna be 
almost a repeat of row three, but we're going to start with two single crochets in the first two stitches, and then we're gonna create a front post bobble stitch in the third. So to create your bobble stitch, yarn over, go behind that post from the row below, that double crochet post from the row below, grab your yarn behind, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, going behind the post, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert around the post, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Last time, going behind the post, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through all five loops. Skip that one stitch, and now we're going to single crochet in the next five. So we're going to create a single crochet in the next five stitches, three, four, and five. And then we're going to do our front post bobble around this post from the row below. So creating your bobble. And what's the reason we're going to do that is to stagger our bobbles so they're not all in a row, they're kind of offset from each other. So that is why for this row we're going to start with just the two single crochets, but you're still going to have five single crochets in between your bobble stitches. All right, so that is why we're going to do that for this row, but it's the same way. All right, so five single crochets. Place a bobble around the next front post bobble stitch. Skip that one in the back, All right? And you should end with two single crochets. So that's what we start with and end with. And as you can see, our front post bobble stitches are staggered, which is how we want it to go. For row six, we are going to chain three, turn our work. That chain three is gonna count as our first double crochet. And then we're gonna place a double crochet in each stitch across. All right, and so you're gonna keep repeating these rows rows three through six, you're gonna keep repeating them until you reach the length for your blanket. And again, I'll put up a graphic to tell you how many rows that you should have for each size blanket. So you're gonna keep repeating these rows. If you need to go back and look at them, you can just go into the description and see the chapters of the video and you can go back to them, rewatch them as many times as you need. But those are the row repeats and you're just gonna keep doing that until you reach your desired length for your blanket and you are all done. Once you reach the end, you're going to weave in any of these loose ends that you might have, and that is it. All right, friends, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you would like to follow along with the written pattern and make sure that you get all the sizing correctly, you can head over to sierrascraftycreations.com to find this pattern free on my blog. You can also buy the ad-free PDF on Etsy. But if you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my future crochet or knit tutorials. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys!